Warning, the following video contains spoilers from AMC's The Walking Dead. Hi there, they call me the governor? No, they call me the governor. They call you the puppet governor. They call you the fat governor. What was that? Nothing. I thought so. So I'm here to talk about episode two of season 11 of The Walking Dead. Acheron, or however you say it, part two. Now, episode one ended in a cliffhanger. But I think Negan will come through. He won't. Oh, really? Negan has always been pretty goddamn practical. He's not going to save some bitch who wants him dead. He's going to turn a plan to have him accidentally die back on her. Guess you have a point. But he does do stupid things. Like he mentioned Glenn. Yeah, that wasn't very fucking bright. But well, we have a lot to see here. The Commonwealth, Maggie's fate, well, how she escapes because they ain't gonna kill her. And I'm gonna react to whatever happens. And I'm not, because apparently I can't really emote. Well, you, you can't. Fuck you. Or you can. Stick around after the reaction when Foam Nuts here will help me review this episode. All right, reaction time. Well, there's a new perspective. <laughs> now that's a way to clear biters, but uh, maybe you should have cleared more before trying to get up. <laughs> She'll be fine. She'll pull a dumpster move. Ooh, looks like Gabe's working out some issues. I really thought it helped Maggie. Oh well. He's not lying, just leaving some details out. Someone's had a hole. Great place for a rave, I'd say. You know, that's the opposite of a motivational poster. Wait, are they blaming the government? I mean, with proof, not just in general. Only a princess would notice that. <laughs> she needs some Prozac, like a lot of it. Hmm. <laughs> the Karen strategy, very interesting. Dude, you need to check the expiration date on that shit. I guess it is worth the paper it's printed on. And that's it. You know, this is nice and all, but shouldn't you, I don't know, find your friends and shit? You couldn't use a knife? Or are you required to shoot the crossbow so many times per episode? <laughs> Damn, that puppy needs training. I think she nailed it. Mmm, got him too. Ooh. <laughs> and that's how you nail an interview. <laughs> exactly. Excited to shit, I guess. What do they wipe with? Oh, could it be Maggie? Egan, I think you're fucked. Oof. That'll leave a mark. I slipped. He saw, and he left me to die. Would you have really done differently? She was in trouble and I didn't help. There is a big difference. <laughs> yep. There's no good Samaritan laws here. She was just talking about murder. True. Uh-huh. <laughs> now you're an asshole for other reasons, but not that. Well, that was helpful. Can't tell him it's wrong. Oh, 
Negan lives for a few long minutes then. W wait, is that the punk ass kid? Cage is a dipshit. <laughs> Gee, sounds like you're about to pull a Negan on him. Well, then you're just like Negan. How about that? Hey, that's my fucking line. All right, gonna go out fighting? I would. Or that? I gotta say, kids got guts. I can see them now. Hmm. Go watch the Heels Negan episode. You might get it. Ooh, he has risen. Not in the good way. This is a fucked up campfire story. Yeah. It's fucking creepy. Uh-huh. Can't really blame you. But you are cold as ice. Is it your ABC spy training? <laughs> now it's time to think, maybe Negan was fucking right? How the hell he get a fucking flail? This fucking guy? Is he bit? Oh, he's not lost anymore. Just, you know, dead. Ooh. So the mission's pretty much fucked. Ooh. That's a kick in the nuts. Looks like Gage is coming anyways. Or, you know, maybe you could block the door or something. Fly at that might actually get through. Did he just waste a fucking bullet? Hey guys, remember me? Father does. Huh, it does keep coming. Like Mormons who won't take a hint. Oh, uh, you just can't fucking win, huh? Whoa, there's something I never thought I'd see. It almost brings a tear. Daryl to the rescue, typical. Okay, even I have to admit, that's pretty badass. Oh, this is gonna be cool. And a waste of a grenade. That's dramatic splatter. Eugene's adapting to prison life. He's even making a shiv. Ooh. So it's to be taught about pen. Nice. Ooh. You know, everybody has that kink. No shame in here. This again. Better think fast, Eugene. They so they say Eugene's a bad liar. Did you hear the one about the cure he was supposed to make? <laughs> oh, he still likes to watch. <laughs> He passed the fucking test. Yes. <laughs> and it's good to see the king smile again. <laughs> He's not going to forget that one. There you go. They did it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's not forgetting that shit. What's Pointer? Which one of these? Ooh, oh, damn. <laughs> uh, you know who this is. <laughs> and they meet at last. You know, they could have left him 
shower first though, you know? They made it out. After, you know, losing a guy and all the supplies. Whoopsie. <laughs> a little trust returned. Ooh. Ooh, sounds like a post-apocalyptic paradise. Yeah, it's not a good thing. I'd say you might want to go a different way, just saying. Property values, huh? Oh, fuck, and after all that, Lambo. Holy fuck, did that take us to goddamn hand? God damn it, cosplay has gone fucking wild. Well, you were right. Negan didn't help Maggie, but she didn't kill him. You know, he has Gage to thank for that, and then, you know, he died. Well, I don't feel bad for Gage, because he was shit to Lydia. True, Maggie did the same thing to Gage. So it's all good, but this little side quest of Daryl's, I mean, he found Dog, which is good. Boy, he's trying to piece together random folks' history. I'm still shocked he can read. Yeah, I think I caught him moving his lips as it did. <laughs> but the whole tunnels nightmare. That lost him a punk kid. You know, and the supplies, including the ammo. But with the Commonwealth crew, I have to say, I really liked how Yumiko put those assessors in that place. It got most of his respect. Damn, she was good. You know, you don't fuck with lawyers. Unless the hot. Say what? Hot lawyers. Yummy. Just don't give him your name. You're a sick puppet. Yes. Yes, I am. Whatever. Princess was really excited about toilet paper. Eugene was put through the ringer, but they said he couldn't lie. You know, he lied to Abraham and Rosita for quite a while. He can lie when he needs to. You know, overall, I thought the episode was good. There were some interesting moments between Maggie and Negan, even after the pistol whipping. And Alden seeing how ruthless Maggie can be. You know, Negan's still ain't popular, but I think whatever esteem Alden had for Maggie is a little reduced. Yeah, but I really like that attack. Agreed. The E.T. guy took one to the face, and I hope Cole's a lefty because the rest, right hand, that's history. You know what they say, you can't trust cosplayers. So we had a nice result at the Commonwealth with Eugene coming face to face with Stephanie. Ezekiel getting some treatment for his cancer. Let's hope that all works out. But we've got another cliffhanger with the mask mandate boys. I'm rooting for the maskers. I hate those anti-mask folk. <sighs> That's not what this is about, idiot. Fuck face. <sighs> Moving on. As you can see, the reaction this week was done by a human with comments from the No Nut Gallery over here. Let me know what you think of this format, plus what you thought of the episode. There's a comment section. Use it. Check out some other videos. Show love for the Puppet Gov and subscribe. Or for him, I guess. See you next week, Governor. And Puppet Governor. Out.